Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. Today I'm here to do a review on the new RPM 360. Um, this is the new Center Pivot Extreme Bow from Bowtech. Uh, this is, like the name states, this is a 360 feet per second IBO rated bow. It's got a 6 inch brace sight on it. And like all the other Center Pivot, it, ha it has the overdrive binary cam on it. Um, octane strings on here, which I've had very, very little stretch with. Had really good luck with octane strings on all the Bowtech bows that I've had. Uh, it's got the flex guard in, on here, just like the others. Um, it's got a little bit of new technology on this, on the uh, the, the riser, the limb pocket. Uh, what they call this is they call this the bridge lock pocket, and it's it's a pocket I haven't seen Bowtech make before. Um, this one's actually got a carbon infused center to it, and it's a pretty cool pocket and. It's, it actually works really good. You got two locking bolts on the side, so to change your poundage, you got to loosen those up and you can change your poundage then. But nice lightweight frame to it. This thing weighs in at 4.4 pounds, which is, is a pretty nice lightweight bow. This does not have a carbon riser to it, so pretty nice lightweight bow for, for not being carbon. Um, available in 50, 60, and 70 pound peak weights. It's also available in 24 to 30 inch draw length. So that's an impressive range of draw length uh, adjustment to it. Uh, like this has got a 31 inch axle to axle bow. Uh, got a pretty good feel to it though at full draw. It really doesn't feel like a 31 inch axle to axle bow. And I think that's because it's got the longer riser, got the preloaded limbs, so that gives you a little bit better shooting platform and gives it a little bit more, makes it a little bit more stable. Uh, it also has the Bioshock limb dampener or Bioshock dampeners on the riser and on the string stop, <clears throat> which are pretty cool. The limbs on this bow have lightning going down them on the black version at least. Uh, this is available in a couple different versions. So the limbs on this bow are really cool looking. Uh, the black version is just, this is just a really sharp bow overall. Uh, speed tested this bow. And with it actually set up at IBO, except for the weight on the string, um, we had it set at I had it set at 70 pounds, 30 inch draw, and I was shooting a 354 grain arrow. So as close as I could possibly get, this thing set to IBO. I had about 20 grains of weight on the string and was getting 354 on this thing, 352, 353, 354. So right in that range. So you take the weight off of the string on this thing and and uh, you're going to bump up a few more feet per second, so it's going to be right at that 360 feet per second setting um, or IBO rating, and that's directly out of the box. So that's no tuning or anything like that. That's just slapping a rest on it and setting it to the IBO settings and shooting it. So I, I feel pretty confident that this is going to hit that 360 feet per second. Um, whether it's going to exceed it or not, I don't know. Maybe with some tuning, you might be able to get it to to exceed that that IBO rating but it's definitely definitely feel I can say with confidence that it's going to hit that that uh, that 360 feet per second rating uh, bow overall like I said it's eye appealing very very nice shooting bow um, just looks fantastic the grip on this bow is a little bit bulky it's a little bit big but I really I wouldn't say I love it but I wouldn't say I hate it it's kinda in the middle it it doesn't bother me. I don't absolutely just love the grip, but at the same time, I don't hate it either. So, you know, it's one of those things on a scale of, of 1 to 10, this grip's, you know, a 6, a 7. It's, it's pretty decent grip, um, not too bad, especially compared to, like, the carbon overdrive and some of the carbon bows that are real blocky. So the grip on this is not terrible. Uh, it's not great. It's just, you know, like I said, about a 6. It's a little bit better than average and uh, actually doesn't feel too bad. Uh, the bow overall shoots fantastic it is just whisper quiet draw cycle on this thing is great one of the best draw cycles I've ever felt in a uh, in a bow that's IBO rated for 360 feet per second um, and the draw cycle I mean, like I said the draw cycles is really really good just really smooth no vibration no sound this thing is whisper whisper quiet and I mean just an absolute pleasure to shoot Six inch brace sight bow, and I'm, I mean, I, I, I can absolutely, absolutely wad arrows out to 30 yards, which is the distance I've got here at the range, or at my range. So, but at 30 yards, I can just really put the arrows right in there in a nice tight group, 
And for a six inch brake sight bow, I mean, it is very, very accurate. So the kind of speed it's producing and the accuracy that you're getting with a smooth draw cycle, man, you really just can't ask for much better than that. Um, it's, it's really a very surprising speed bow. So we'll step out here and we'll start doing some shooting with it and let you guys see, see kind of how it shoots. All right, so I got this thing setting out about 64 pounds, 65, 27 and a half inch draw length, and I'm just shooting a fairly lightweight, about a 365, 370 grain uh, deer crossing arrow. No problems tuning this thing. Had absolutely zero problems. I've actually got it all broadhead tuned and ready to go because I'm going on a hog hunt tomorrow, and I'm going to take this bow with me. Um, it's probably not going to be my my primary bow. It's going to be my backup, uh, but my overdrive. A carbon overdrive is going to be my primary because I've been shooting it longer. But I'm definitely taking this one, and if I get an opportunity, I'm going to shoot a hog with it. So, first thing you'll notice, like I said, the grip on this thing is not terrible, not great. Just, just a little bit better than normal. Uh, draw cycle on this thing is really good. We'll talk about that more in just a second. The back wall is pretty solid. It's got cable stops on it. And when you come back, it's just a good, solid back wall. It's got no mush to it. The bow itself right now is pushing about 304, 305 feet per second with my setup and it's absolutely whisper quiet. That's one of the things I really am amazed by. It's just the, the how quiet it is and how little recoil it has for as fast as it is. Now the draw cycle, like I said, it's got a really good draw cycle to it. Kind of builds at the front and uh, Kind of builds up and then when it comes back it's got a pretty sharp drop off to it but it ain't too bad it doesn't you know make your your shoulder jerk out too bad it's pretty manageable and once you get it back you can really just hold it forever right about there it drops off so you can see it drops off maybe in the last inch or so but a very manageable draw cycle as far as creep goes on this thing i mean i'm relaxing right now and it does it doesn't want to take off on me so Really nice. It doesn't. It's you know for speedbow, most of them really want to take off. This one, you can sit here and you can kind of relax with it, and it doesn't want to jump out of your hand. And I just busted an arrow. So we're shooting at about 20 yards, and you can see it's a very accurate bow. I'm, let me just slap two arrows together with it. Uh, for six-inch spray sight bow, speedbow. I mean, I'm absolutely floored with this thing. Again, with the draw cycle, we'll just go through it real, smoke, real slow. It's building, building, and now it's starting to let down. And then it drops off right into the back. It's a really, really good draw cycle. This, I mean, I really am amazed. A 360 feet per second bow that shoots like this. I mean, draws like the great on it. Little or no vibration. Absolutely whisper quiet. And just a pleasure to shoot. Most speed bows out there, if they're ready for 350 or up, I mean, when you think of a speed bow like that, you don't generally think of accuracy. You don't generally think of a good draw cycle don't generally think of it being quiet. This is all of those things. So, that's the new Bowtech RPM, the new Center Pivot Extreme Bow uh, for 2014 from Bowtech. And I am absolutely loving this bow, absolutely floored with it. I uh, was really impressed with the carbon overdrive. And kind of liked it at the show when we went to the show. I kind of actually liked it a little bit more than I liked the 
the uh, the RPM 360 at the show. But this one, once I got it in, you know, and got it set up for me and set up to the to my draw length, man, I'm just absolutely floored with how good of a bow this is. How overall good this bow is. I mean, this is a bow that I would not be afraid to go out and shoot. We're going to shoot hogs Saturday with it. I'm not afraid to go out and shoot hogs with it. Wouldn't be afraid to go out and elk hunt with it. Wouldn't be afraid to go out and 3D shoot with this thing either. Just an absolute pleasure to shoot. And for a speed bow, you don't find that very often. Most of the time, they are a rough draw cycle and they're 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 tough to shoot. So, Botex definitely got a winner here with this new uh, RPM 360. It's an absolutely fabulous bow, and of all the center pivot extreme bows that I've shot, the Insanity was really my favorite. Uh, but I think hands down, this one to me is is definitely a big upgrade from the Insanity, and and one that uh, I never thought I'd be. I'd say that the Insanity, I, I would like one better than the Insanity, but this one I think has a little bit better is a little bit better bow than what the Insanity was. The draw cycle is better to it and the speed's a little bit better so definitely check this out um check it out botex website which we'll put right here and we'll put a direct link in the description below and for more product reviews how-to videos you can check out our website that's ikesoutdoors.com i appreciate you guys watching